quick little haul while I was still in Malaysia. Because, yeah, so this is probably my last time in Malaysia and I'm a little sad about it because there's certain things I'm really gonna miss. I wanted to go through a few, a few of the last things that I got from Sephora. Um, I'm a black card member now, whatever that means. So I got 10% off because I had 400 odd points or something. I also wanted to share some of the food and snacks in case you're interested. They have some really good food here and this place called Lavender. I love it. We need that company here. We also need Hot and Roll. Hot and Roll are like crepes but they do savoury ones and they're delicious. But yeah, I thought I'd just go over a few things. So, I'm gonna do makeup first and food afterwards. Uh, I'll put a timestamp in the comments for when the makeup stuff is and when the food stuff is. <clears throat> I first went into this place called Parkson. They have like a drugstore bit and they have a higher end bit. I wanted to get the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation, but they didn't have my shade. They never have my shade. Got another one of the L'Oreal Infallible palettes. I already got rid of the brush because I know I'm not going to use it. This is actually a medium instead of light. I think this is going to be a nice bronzer slash contour and the highlight is really pretty. I could definitely use that highlight. So I can definitely use this one. I just think that the light would have been better and I was going to get another light one, but they didn't have it in stock. I also got the L'Oreal Paradise mascara. This is the packaging they have in... America, so I was kind of tempted to pick it up. For some reason we have a different packaging in the UK. So then I got uh, some stuff from Sephora. So I've been wanting a few Sephora brushes, I've had my eye on them. This one especially, love that it comes with a cap. You can open from there and then push it down. It's the Sephora Pro Flawless Airbrush number 56 brush and it doesn't look like much. Every time I looked on the Sephora website I just picked this out of all of the brushes um, but I think it could be a good concealer brush, it could be good for setting the eyes, it could be good for highlight, a bit like my Colourpop one. I'm looking forward to using this in the future. I got two eyeshadow brushes, so this one I picked up because Kathleen Lights always goes on about a crease brush from Sephora. It's not available in that store anyway. This is the Sephora Crease Shadow number 73 and it's just a nice little crease brush. And I also picked up this one because... This looks like a really good little brush. Again, comes with one of these caps. The other one didn't really, it came with a cap, but you had to push it on. And I'm just gonna mess up the bristles, so I didn't bother keeping it. But this is the Sephora Pro Precision Crease. I think this, this is like the Pro line, whereas this isn't, which is why it's like a matte packaging. This is super sleek packaging. But yeah, this is number, seven, number 17. And this has like one of these caps. So you take these little, things off like that and that opens like that. So this is like a nice little detail brush. It reminds me of the e.l.f. one I already have. I know I'll be using this so I picked it up. Picked up the Fenty Gloss Bomb and then I came across this and wanted this more. So this is one of her highlighters, her being Rihanna. Um, this is one of the highlighters and a mini gloss bomb. So I'd smelt the gloss bomb from the last time I was there and I was tempted to pick that one up but I hadn't, wasn't really using glosses much at the time, but this has a super big applicator and it smells delicious. And that is the shade. It's just a nice sort of pinky nude, super glossy. Um, in here, looking at it in the bottle, it kind of looks like it has shimmers in it, but it's just really like wet looking. And then the highlighter, uh, it comes with is Hustler Baby, so I know this is one of the ones that everyone goes on about as well. And then this is the shade. You can see that there. It's kind of like between a gold, it's a goldy peach, goldy peach champagne sort of shade. I think I'll definitely be using this. I did put it on top of my Sin highlight and I really, really like it. I will definitely be using these two. So I've got the NYX Slip Tease Lip Lacquer in Let's Get Physical. I have wanted to pick this up since I saw Tati put this on. It's so pretty. Didn't realise it's more of a lip gloss than a lipstick. It's kind of a mixture of the two, so it doesn't dry down. But that is the shade. It's just kind of like a, a glossy, nude, 
really easy to pair with everything. It also has like a minty sort of um, scent to it. Yeah, it's definitely a scent. It doesn't feel tingly or anything like that, but you can definitely smell the mint in it. And the last thing I picked up was at the checkout. I've been wanting to try out Makeup Forever products for the longest time, but they're so overpriced. It's just not a brand that I feel like I'm going to really try out. But I saw this Makeup Forever, why's my pinky out? <laughs> Step 1 Skin Equalizer. It's meant to be a mattifying primer. And I'm not going to be able to show you guys really. You really have to squeeze this to get some out. But it kind of reminds me of the Cover FX mattifying primer that I put on. I love the matte packaging. I think it's really, really sleek and beautiful. Also, I got really worried because my box is super banged up, but thankfully it had never been opened. So that's everything I picked up from Sephora. I did want to mention as well that I found a Lush. Um, and like every Lush store, it was super busy. Uh, and I saw this, and this is one of my favourite Lush shower gels. This one and Bubbly are easily my favourites. But this one just smells like plums. And it just makes my mouth water every single time. Bubbly is like an orange one. So like the fruity ones I really, really like. Oh yeah, and I just wanted to mention as well, I got a free gift for purchase from Sephora. So they gave me this shopper bag. So I'll be using that to put my laptops in when I go back. So now I just wanted to show you the snacks and we're gonna try a little bit of the food. I had my first Slurpee today. They have 7-Elevens here. And it was Tutti Frutti and Blueberry and it was delicious. It's not as thick as our slushies, if that, because I was just expecting it to be the same, but it's not. It kind of reminds me of if you go to the cinema and you get the Tango Blasts, because it's kind of uh, fizzy as well, or the ones I tried were anyway. When I'm in the 7-Elevens, I always pick up Gatorade. Not very good for you, but we don't really have Gatorade in the UK and it's some of the only time I drink it. So I got Blue Bolt, which I've already started. Uh, and lemon and lime. Love Gatorade. Uh, I also picked up, just because I also kind of wanted to remember this brand, they have some of the best cheesy chips ever. Um, chips mean crisps. Uh, it's Mr. Potato Crisp. Potato, no, yeah, potato crisps. Oh, I do call them crisps here, I thought they called them chips. Yeah, Mr. Potato Crisps. This little guy, <laughs> if you see his crisps, pick them up they are so freaking good this is the first time i'm going to be trying his doritos i'm not going to try them right now because they're probably just ready sorted but his cheesy ones are delicious they are so so good i pick them up every time i go into work we have like i wanted to talk about lavender oh yeah they have these little bags of skittles uh they're sour skittles i love sour skittles they're so good but yeah i wanted to show you guys this lavender place it's like school where you get a tray and you pick stuff up and you put it on your tray and then you pay for it at the counter. It's like that. And they have all these like really soft doughy bread sort of things. So they have a lot of meat ones, but obviously I pick up the vegetarian ones. So there's a milk, look how big this is. This is like as big as my body. <laughs> this is a milk cheese stick. I'm gonna eat like a little bit of each of these. See how like, doesn't do it justice. So good. It's really soft, but ready. So now I'm gonna try this. I've never tried this before. Oh, what was this called again? It was cheese. It was like a cheese dough. It's sort of between sweet and savory. This is like a. I think this is cheese on top. I'm gonna try and like break it in half and see what's in the middle. So you can see it's got like filled. When I hear cheese, I always think cheddar, but this is very mild and it's more of a texture than a flavour. The flavour is sort of really coming from the dough and this kind of cheese on top. Not bad. There was something else that I really, really liked before. It was like a doughy thing, but it was cheese again. I definitely prefer that over this, but um, so I don't think I would get this again, but I'm definitely going to finish it. And then this is the coconut bun. And it has like cornflakes on it. 
but this is filled with coconut. I've already tried this one before. Take this off here, you can see how soft this is. So satisfying. You can really smell the coconut as well. Right, break a little bit of this off. That's all sugary coconutty goodness. It's really sweet. It tastes so good though. It's really, like this is so soft. You can see it like, you can squeeze it. It's so soft. So that was everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I just wanted to share with you a couple of extra things from Malaysia that I haven't showed you yet. I really appreciate all the love and support that you guys have given the Malaysian series. I'm hoping that I can continue with that maybe with some London ones or South End ones, trips. I don't know. We'll see what life holds. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you feel like it. I would really, really appreciate it. And I hope to see you all when I'm back in the UK. Bye.